What's going on gamers? Today, we're gonna to be going over how to install Project Ozone 3. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every tutorial we post just like this one. It's no surprise that many enjoy the aspects of vanilla Minecraft, from its exploration of the beautiful savannah to the boss battles across dimensions. This is why many Minecraft players turn to modded gameplay, a huge community of modders and enthusiasts alike who love today's mod pack. Introducing Project Ozone 3, a new way forward. This mod pack is filled with a massive amount of mods ranging from tech to magic and even includes sort of an RPG experience with a mod better questing. The Project Ozone 3 mod pack is for version of Minecraft 1.12.2 and it's a successor to the first two counterparts. This pack has a huge amount of mods present, each one more intense than the next. In addition to this, this pack is meant to be played on Garden of Glass world types, meaning that it can also be a skyblock based mod pack. Here at Apex Hosting, installing Project Ozone 3 is super simple, and today we're going to show you how to set it up. Before we get started, it's really important to know that the modders recommend 6 to 8 gigabytes of storage. You should aim for that if you would prefer it to not crash. Alright, so our first step for client side installation is you're going to go ahead and head to the CurseForge webpage. And on their download site, make sure to click download and then install launcher. Once the launcher is installed, go ahead and open up the app and then click on Minecraft and then click on browse mod packs. From here, just search for Project Ozone 3 if it's not on the front page. Click on the one named Project Ozone 3, a new way forward, and then press install. Once it's done, you can return to the My Mod Packs tab to find the installed pack and play. Before we get started, it is really important to know that the author recommends 6 to 8 gigabytes of storage for the client side. So for your server, you should be aiming for 8 gigabytes or higher because more players is going to require more storage. The first step for installing server side is you're going to go ahead and head to the Apex server panel. Then scroll down to jar file selection and in jar file selection, you can type in or you can just scroll up or down to find Project Ozone 3. Then go ahead and click on that and it's going to prompt you to change version. And we always, always recommend to create a new world to prevent any issues. And once it's done, go ahead and click on restart the server to load the mod pack. And once your server is finally online, you're going to be able to connect. Now we're going to go over some of the coolest parts of this mod pack. The best one, in our opinion, being the better questing mod. This mod allows for a massive amount of quest lines to be added to the mod pack with over 1,000 pre-made by the mod pack creator. You're gonna receive rewards and obtain even more quests to complete. To use this mod, simply right click the item titled Better Questing, allowing you to navigate and access the different quests. Our next mod is Botania. This mod is classified as a tech mod, revolving around the use of flora. Weird, right? Using these, the Batania mod allows the use of mana and magic to obtain game effects. With over 100 blocks and items added, it's massive. In order to use it, all you need to do is open the Lexica Botanica book you included in your inventory. If lost, it can be crafted with the book and any type of sapling. Our next mod is Pam's Harvest Craft. Pam's Harvest Craft is a classic and a fan favorite to add a plethora of new food items to grow and eat. This mod does affect the vanilla food values to be less nutritious in an effort to encourage the use of these new items. We already have a guide on this mod. Check it out in the links located in the description below. Our next mod is Tinkerer's Construct, a mod that needs no introduction. Tinkerer's Construct allows the creation of tools and weapons using individual parts. Want a gold tip pig blade? 
Well, it's all yours. The amount of customizations in this mod is insane, allowing you to infinitely redefine your weapons to gain more and more abilities and power. To start, check out the materials and you handbook included in your inventory. Next up is Applied Energistics. With new blocks comes a need for new energy creation and manipulation. This mod pack uses Applied Energistics 2 to achieve this. This advanced mod uses technology, wires and more to generate, transport and power blocks using energy within it. To get started with this mod, you're going to want to get some quartz. This is achieved with the vanilla nether quartz, but it's also used with Certus Quartz, found commonly in the overworld. And one classic that you've probably seen in every mod pack is Iron Chess. As you expand your gameplay, storage may soon become an issue. Thankfully, Iron Chess mod allows you to have a massive amount of storage space using upgrades. With the higher tier chess, a single block can store more than a double chess. Using this mod is as easy as surrounding a chest with the required ingot. Surrounding a wooden chest with iron ingots would create an iron chest and an iron chest with gold ingots would create a gold chest and so on. And for our final mod, we have the Twilight Forest. It's another massively popular mod, including the Twilight Forest dimension. Trees across the horizon, dungeons, and bosses are an oversimplification of how expansive this mod is. To access this dimension, you're going to need a square of flowers, water, and placing in a glimmer crystal instead of the normal diamond. This Ozone 3 mod pack can definitely be challenging. With so many mods to choose from, there's going to be something for everyone. Whether you're exploring in a dimension like the Erebus or creating technological machines, there's always something to do in this mod pack. Quick note before we end the video, if the base game is too easy, you can always use the slash pack mode command on the server to select a more challenging version. With this many options, it's no wonder that this mod pack is so popular. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today, and as always we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time gamers.